If you've ever wondered what are the types of kidney disease are there, then stay tuned because this video is for you. There are several types of kidney diseases, each with its own causes, symptoms, and treatments. Here are some common types of kidney diseases. 1. Chronic kidney disease, CKD. CKD is a long-term condition where the kidneys gradually lose their ability to function properly. It can result from conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, glomerulonephritis, and polycystic kidney disease. CKD progresses through stages, with end-stage renal disease, ESRD, being the most severe stage, often requiring dialysis or a kidney transplant. 2. Acute kidney injury, Aki. Aki is a sudden and severe decrease in kidney function. It can result from various causes, including infections, dehydration, medication toxicity, and trauma. Aki is a medical emergency and requires prompt treatment. 3. Polycystic kidney disease, PKD. PKD is a genetic disorder characterized by the growth of fluid-filled cysts in the kidneys. These cysts can gradually replace healthy kidney tissue, leading to kidney damage and impaired function. 4. Glomerulonephritis. This is a group of kidney diseases that primarily affect the glomeruli, the tiny filtering units within the kidneys. It can be caused by infections, autoimmune disorders, or other underlying conditions. Glomerulonephritis can lead to proteinuria, excess protein in urine, and impaired kidney function. 5. Nephrotic syndrome. Nephrotic syndrome is a condition characterized by high levels of protein in the urine, proteinuria, low levels of protein in the blood, hypoalbuminemia, swelling, edema, and high cholesterol levels. It can result from various kidney diseases, such as membranous nephropathy and focal segmental glomerulosclerosis. 6. Kidney stones. Kidney stones are hard deposits of minerals and salts that form within the kidneys. They can cause severe pain when they pass through the urinary tract. Kidney stones can develop due to factors like dehydration, dietary choices, and genetic predisposition. 7. Kidney infections, pyelonephritis. Pyelonephritis is a bacterial infection of the kidneys, often stemming from a urinary tract infection, UTI. It can cause fever, pain in the lower back or side, and other symptoms. Prompt treatment with antibiotics is essential to prevent kidney damage. 8. Hematuria. Hematuria refers to the presence of blood in the urine. It can be a symptom of various underlying kidney conditions, such as kidney stones, infections, or glomerulonephritis. 9. Diabetic nephropathy. This is a complication of diabetes where high blood sugar levels damage the small blood vessels in the kidneys. Over time, it can lead to kidney dysfunction and CKD. 10. Hypertensive nephropathy. Prolonged high blood pressure can damage the blood vessels in the kidneys and contribute to the development of kidney disease. 11. Alport syndrome. Alport syndrome is a genetic disorder that affects the glomeruli and can lead to kidney failure. It often involves hearing loss and eye problems as well. It's important to note that early detection and management of kidney diseases are crucial for preventing complications and preserving kidney function. If you suspect kidney problems or experience symptoms like changes in urination, swelling, or persistent pain, it's essential to seek medical advice promptly. FAQ section about types of kidney disease. What are the most common causes of kidney disease? The most common causes of kidney disease include diabetes, high blood pressure, hypertension, glomerulonephritis, polycystic kidney disease, and kidney infections. What is the difference between chronic kidney disease, CKD, and acute kidney injury, Aki? CKD is a long-term condition in which the kidneys gradually lose their function over time, while Aki is a sudden and severe decrease in kidney function, often due to factors like infections or medication toxicity. Are kidney diseases hereditary? Some kidney diseases, such as polycystic kidney disease and Alport syndrome, have a genetic basis and can be hereditary. However, many kidney diseases are influenced by a combination of genetic and environmental factors. What are the early signs of kidney disease? Early signs of kidney disease may include changes in urination, frequency, color, and amount, swelling, especially in the ankles and face, fatigue, and high blood pressure. However, kidney disease can be asymptomatic in its early stages. Can kidney disease be prevented? 
In some cases, kidney disease can be prevented or delayed by managing underlying conditions like diabetes and hypertension, maintaining a healthy diet, staying hydrated, and avoiding excessive use of medications that may harm the kidneys. How is kidney disease diagnosed? Kidney disease is typically diagnosed through blood and urine tests, such as serum creatinine levels and glomerular filtration rate, GFR, measurements. Imaging studies like ultrasounds and kidney biopsies may also be used for diagnosis. What are the treatment options for kidney disease? Treatment for kidney disease depends on the specific type and stage of the disease. Common approaches include managing underlying conditions, dietary changes, medication to control blood pressure and blood sugar, and, in advanced cases, dialysis or kidney transplantation. Can kidney disease progress to kidney failure? Yes. If left untreated or poorly managed, kidney disease can progress to kidney failure, also known as end-stage renal disease, ESRD, where the kidneys can no longer perform their vital functions. Dialysis or kidney transplantation may be required at this stage. Are there lifestyle changes that can help protect kidney health? Yes, maintaining a healthy lifestyle can help protect kidney health. This includes regular exercise, a balanced diet low in salt and saturated fats, avoiding excessive alcohol consumption, not smoking, and managing chronic conditions like diabetes and hypertension. Can kidney disease be cured? The potential for a cure depends on the specific type and stage of kidney disease. Some forms of kidney disease may be reversible with prompt and appropriate treatment, while others may require ongoing management to slow disease progression and manage symptoms.